What's going on, everybody? It is a happy Friday, and if you can hear some noise, I'm on the treadmill. Uh, It is Friday, October 6, 2023. I'm going to show you this video today using real money on mobile between using our super signals, our uptrend signal for today. Um, We did have a buy signal directly off the open, um, but I'm just literally chilling here on the treadmill and um, decided to take this trade. So I'm gonna flip back over to my brokerage. And you can see that the position that I decided to take, this is a real money account. Um, As stated uh, yesterday, the paper money stuff is all just training videos um, that we were putting up over the last week. And you can see that um, we're already off to a nice start here. So um, yeah, that's the trade. So let's go back here. Let's actually flip over to the 15. We don't have our uptrend signal just yet on the 15. And we did have quite a big move from here all the way up to here. Um, But that doesn't always matter. Sometimes you can just continue those moves, uh, not to mention it's Friday. And you can see that as these candles are kind of failing, um, (laughs) you know, we are definitively in an uptrend. So the characteristics of an uptrend, again, as you've probably seen in previous videos, are, you know, just higher lows and then higher highs, right? So you can see the formation of that here. So even though we had our signal here, you know, I mean, we're, hold on, (laughs) you know, now we're really going up. So let's go back to the brokerage account. See what happened. Yeah, we're already up to a quick, like we just entered this trade. I'm already up like 7%, 5%. These are just two calls. One's directly at the money. You can see this one right here, 3550 call. Um, That's where we entered is 3550. That was the at the money. Then we have our 35 call, a little deeper in the money. You can see the deeper in the money you go, um, the delta is going to give you a little more, uh, let's say, correlation based on the total amount of you know, shares that you're actually controlling. And uh, if you're not an options trader, that's fine. You can use stock uh, for these symbols as well. I don't wanna stop the recording yet. So usually what happens here, we'll just do a little bit of a longer video here, longer form, is you'll get some kind of, you know, it's normal in an uptrend to get some kind of a pullback here. And as you can see, this is really easy to do, just flipping between E-Trade and TradingView. No need for a bot. Uh, These are all real-time signals. You can see this green dot up here that indicates that we are using real-time data and we're using the NASDAQ, uh, but you could be using any stock you want. And if you'd like, I can flip over to even Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin went into an uptrend as well. There you go. There's some easy money. So if you would have taken that signal, you know, you would have went from, you would have made like a hundred bucks on Bitcoin so far, right? So um, that's pretty cool. Let's hop on over to, let's see, let's do Tesla. Tesla's looking like it's in a downtrend. Now, one thing that's uh, important to note here is, well, for me and what I kind of practice and preach is trading the indices, right? So there's a, uh, you know, there's a saying about single stock risk. That's something you definitely have to be aware of just because the rest of the market's going up. If there's some news, you know, about a particular company, uh, that company could very well go down. Right. But it looks like Tesla's kind of starting that uptrend. They might they might jump on the uh, the cool kids wagon here. Right. So let's go ahead and just flip back. Let's go to the S&P 500. So we'll do the SPX. And we don't quite have our up signal because, and the reason we don't, even though we have an uptrend, which is well formed, is because the data points required, we have data set one that gives us our uptrend, and then data set two, and boom, we just got our uptrend on the S&P as I'm talking. And so if you're an SPY trader, um, yeah, this would be a good time to be looking at this S&P 500, but we're not trading the S&P 500. We're trading the NQ NASDAQ futures. And (laughs) you can see why I like to trade those and why I like to teach trading those. They're a lot more volatile. You get a lot more bang for your your move. Um, And if you're taking risk, 
um, you know, you're going to get an outsized move. Sorry about that. In most circumstances. So um, let's just flip back over. Let's see where we're at here. We're doing good. We're just making money all over the place. So we're already up uh, 7%, 6%. And what I'll do is go ahead and update this video in a little bit after I get off the treadmill. Thanks a lot, guys. It's Ryan from Happy Trader. Have a great day. All right, y'all. This is part two of the video off the treadmill now. Again, it's Friday, October 6th, and this is our first uh, real money trading video uh, using options on the NASDAQ. So um, what we're doing is we're looking at the NASDAQ E-mini futures, but we're actually trading the T-triple-Q options. So there's a lot of ways that you can do this. Uh, you could just straight up trade the futures. You could do options on futures. You could trade the triple Qs just on their own. And, um, you know, you can move over uh, to different tickers that represent the NASDAQ, such as QQQ, which we'll do right now. And you can see pretty much the same outcome. The only difference with the QQQ that's really nice is, well, you can do really well on the options. T triple Q has a little bit of um, kind of like a double decay uh, function within it because it's a triple leverage ETF. It's just something that I'm comfortable trading because I know how it trades. But you can do the same thing and typically get earlier signals, but similar signals um, using QQQ, which is the normal NASDAQ. So you can see that we had our uptrend signal all the way back here um, and a much broader uh, move. So you'd be up probably like on one um, in the money call, you would be up you know, pretty solidly at this point, like well over $100. And but what we'll do is just go back to let's actually go to T triple Q. And you can see um, this is what we're actually trading. So, um, you know, we'll just go back to the futures and that's just going to be your overall representation of the NASDAQ. And you can see that we get our signal just slightly later, um, but that's OK. Um, the futures and the indexes are arbitraged together. So if we go to our trade. We have just two call options on. These are just little options. 30 days out is how far we went on these options. Uh, we had one that we bought right at the money at 35 and a half, and then we have another one that we bought uh, a little bit in the money. And you can see just the difference there, uh, 30 versus $24. That's you know because of the delta at which we took those trades, right? So something you can do here, um, a tricky part about trading, is you know like happy trader makes it easy to see when to get into a trade but getting out of a trade is typically the hard part right so there's a couple ways that you can do this the first way is you can go to one of your calls you could hit this is just e-trade but you could go you can do this on any broker you go to close and you could do a either a trailing stop uh, dollar amount you could do a trailing stop limit amount um, you can do a limit, uh, you can do a stop limit on quote, which is what I would recommend. So let's, let's backtrack here. So our cost basis, we, these are debit options. We purchased these options 30 days out, uh, $3 and 20 cents. And now they're trading for $3 and 52 cents. Conversely for, uh, you know, for the 35 and a half call, $2 and 96 cents, $3, 22 cents. So what you can do is just take what your cost basis is, and if you wanted to set up a stop, which we can do, we'll do that for the one that's um, a little, well, maybe we'll do that for the one that's in the money. We'll set the stop, and just to demonstrate that. So all we do is look at our cost basis, 320. We are gonna go to stop limit on quote, and we're gonna do the trigger can be, Three, on the NASDAQ, you can set the trigger and the limit the same. You do want to make sure that you have some alerts on. Uh, price alerts are definitely smart. You can use the Think or Swim app, or you could just set a price alert um, right in TradingView, and then you would just set um, a stop limit order at where you purchased, um, and then you would just hit send order, and that puts your stop on. Now, I'm not trading with a stop because I know that the NASDAQ can be a little bit volatile, especially on a Friday, but you can see, you know, these uptrend and downtrend signals that Happy Trader gives you are really solid typically. Um, even if we go back in time, let's switch back out to the 15 minute. Yeah, you can see like 
look at the downtrend signal from yesterday. I mean, that's a crazy, crazy amount of points, right? I mean, look at that. That's like 200 points on the NASDAQ. That is a huge move. We're talking thousands of dollars there, um, even on one contract if you're trading futures, right? So that's a really, really big deal. And if you just go back, you can just see these big moves when you get those signals. Now, when you get your buy and your sell signals, uh, these are going to give you the clue that, you know, okay, we're start, we see a trend reversal here, but, you know, we could still kind of like backtrack a little bit off that. But when you get these uptrend signals, sometimes they're going to have higher amplitude than other days. But generally speaking, um, they are going to at least move a little bit. So let's go over like, <laughs> like look at some of these. So if you were to just trade these uptrend and downtrend signals throughout the week, uh, just on one ticker, the NASDAQ, you would do really well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and update this video in a little bit. And I uh, just wanted to show you how to set stop losses there uh, because we are now using real money. We aren't, you know, we're not playing around anymore with uh, paper trading. That was just to kind of demonstrate things. But you can see we are on a nice upward trajectory. And I will absolutely uh, continue this video later on today. All right, y'all. Third video here. We are up at, you know, 17 and 16%. We're just going to go ahead and close our options right at the money. And boom, there's one. We're going to go to the other. We are going to wait for that one to disappear. Um, and we are going to play it slightly conservative, even though it does look like the market's just going to continue to go up all day long here. Um, so we can go to our um, performance, and you can see that that was a... Uh, Great $105 trade. Didn't take long. You can see I was kind of on the treadmill there. I'm doing a bunch of other stuff as well. So, yeah, happy trader signals are definitely great. Um, you know, these uptrend, these super signals are just absolutely crazy uh, when you get them, um, especially on an instrument that's volatile like the NASDAQ. And I think the only reason that we're kind of just, you know, kind of stalling here. Um, when I see this many green candles in a row, I'm going to consider that a successful trade, especially, I mean, imagine if you got in here, right? But you wouldn't have known, right, if this was going to reverse. I mean, we did have a clue, right? So we had, a, that's why we have our buy signal. But when we get this confirmation signal and we have our green Illumitrend bubble, that's going to give us a really good indication that, you know, we are looking to you know, more than likely than not uh, go in that direction. So again, this is Ryan from Happy Trader, CEO and head quant. Hopefully this was an exciting um, real money video using mobile and flipping between TradingView and E-Trade. So have a great safe weekend, everybody, and happy trading.